what's up i am currently away on vacation and i'm vlogging on my iphone oops i'm vlogging on my iphone because i was not expecting to vlog on this trip so we stayed for the week like near the beach and in the middle of the week we were like let's just go to magic kingdom and i will insert footage from the magic kingdom day i actually started filming a day in the life i have footage that i want to insert from magic kingdom day and then we took another two or three beach days and we were like let's go back to Disney because we want to go to Epcot. We want to go to Hollywood studios and we want to stay at the Grand Floridian. So then yesterday when we got park hopper tickets, I was like, you know what? Let me just try and let me call Grand Floridian. Grand Floridian is available. So you guys are coming with us to Disney and we're staying at the Grand Floridian tonight and I'm beating my face in the car. I'm like Disney bounding as tangled today. So without further ado, let's get into this vlog. <laughs> standard king room with a garden view and then somehow some way we got this room it's this beautiful suite with a castle view can you see that the castle is right there the pool's right there and then we get a beach view too okay so we walk in there's like a little sitting area the martino family <laughs> A couch. This is like an executive suite or something. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And look behind me. Do you see this? A water view. I can't. This is just so stunning. And like we got a day full of parks, but I don't want to leave the room. We got Mickey ears. I love that. In any Disney resort, you'll see like Mickey ears anywhere. And then we go over here. I love this so much. So there's a walk-in closet. And luggage. And then this beautiful like vanity mirror. And my Duncan. And this big bathtub right here. Hey booze, just popping into this Disney vlog to show you guys some really fun alternative park outfits if you guys are going to Disney anytime soon. Really good travel outfits. So lately, Pilates Princess has become a trend. And if you don't know what that is, it's like the athleisure skirts, like the little tennis skirts or like athleisure dresses, just looking like you're going to Pilates or ballet or the gym. And last time I showed you guys a Halara haul on this channel, you guys loved it. So Halara sponsoring me again for this video. So thank you so much, Halara, for sponsoring this Disney vlog. So I'm just gonna do a quick little try on haul right now, and then we're gonna get back into the Disney magic. But without further ado, here's my Halara pieces. So my favorite thing about Halara is you can find really, really rare athleisure dresses. This one isn't a leotard. A lot of the Halara dresses have like a leotard like that goes underneath and a skirt overlay. This is a solid dress, but it's made with the same material as like leggings or just like athleisure in general. Look how there's pretty girly sleeves and it looks like I'm about to go to dance class. It really has like all the features of like a going out dress, but it's athleisure. The way that it flows and the way that this mesh material is also on the trim, it just feels so beautiful. So that's why I had to try this one on first. So alternatively to the workout dress, here is the workout skirt that I was talking about. It's like a little score overlay. So you get some workout shorts, but you also get this cute little like V-cut, shiny, shimmery black skirt. It's so fun. It literally looks like a figure skating skirt or a ballet skirt. I got the sports bra separately, then the skirt, and then this jacket is also from Halara. I feel like this outfit would look really cute if you were going to Disney at night and got like the traditional red and black mini ears. But yeah, I love this skirt. I'm definitely someone 
who loves to dress like super girly to go to the gym. I've never been like a leggings and sports bra type of girl. I definitely like this better than like leggings and a sports bra. Now that there's like workout skirt alternatives, I just can't go back. So yeah, this is a fun park outfit. If it's like a spring day and you want to just go on a walk, this is awesome. It's a great running errands outfit. I got this matching jacket so I could wear this off my shoulders with this look. Also, I've linked everything down below if you guys were interested in buying anything that I'm showing you. So on top of all this athleisure being super unique, Halara also has some fun pattern leggings. This is what they look like in the mirror, going straight down. So fun, so spring, they're so comfy. And I love how tight they hug the leg. I love leggings that like really kiss the leg. This is what the back looks like. I don't like wearing denim. I only wear denim when I have to for an outfit. I just love being comfortable all the time, which is why you'll most likely see me in a dress a skirt or comfy athleisure and so the fact that these also come in gingham black and white they'll go with any top i love these i'm going to be caught wearing these in tj maxx or target or when i'm going shopping and i love that you can like mix and match everything i'm going to show you guys these like fake corduroy pants that i also got from halara with this sports bra and i love that the sports bra also looks like just a tank top but basically these are like equivalent to pajama pants i'm going to try these on for you but they look like corduroys i feel like pajama pants just look at this. These are so cute. These are fun for spring, travel, wearing turtlenecks, blouses, if you don't feel like wearing uncomfortable materials. So fun. Halara is really making comfortable dresses that look like going out outfits. And can we talk about how pretty this color is? It's Cinderella blue. It's literally so comfortable, guys. It looks so cute too with like a little necklace. Wow, I'm really impressed. I actually got this same one in black. I'm gonna try that on for you guys as well. So I was wrong. This is a completely different silhouette from the Cinderella blue dress, but oh my goodness, look at the top. You can be comfortable and sexy. I feel like just, whoa. So we have this dress too. Last but not least, I'm wearing these pink workout pants that are bell bottoms and I'm wearing this athletic white top. I love that it looks like a t-shirt material, but it's that nice sweat proof material. These leggings just make me feel like a Barbie. I just feel so cute. These are definitely running errands pants too. I love that there's pockets. I adore these pants. I think these are my favorite pants that I own right now because they're comfortable. They're bell bottoms. They're really flattering. Just like the other leggings, they tightly hug the legs and the booty. I just feel so cute. Absolutely everything that I showed you guys in this try on haul has made me feel like so confident and so happy. So I'm excited to share these links with you guys and maybe you'll feel the same way too. And I'm happy to tell you guys that you can use the code FANCY0 for 15% off. Absolutely everything I tried on is linked down below. Let's get back into this magical video. is this like place that has snacks all the time on our floor 
so cute. Everything about this hotel is so cute. Look at the wallpaper. The flowers and the woodwork. All right, booze, so that's it for this fancy vlog. I literally just finished editing the Disney vlog right now. I'm really, really excited to upload this for you guys. I just wanna put this out there because obviously I've posted Disney vlogs in the past and different people were featured in those videos. If you could just please be kind and give me some grace. I hope this video made you just as happy as I was filming it. My next vlog is also being edited right now. I'm doing a what I eat in a day video next. And then the video after that is going to be quite funny. It's actually a prank. I've been filming a lot lately, especially with all like the rumors about like TikTok and all that stuff. I don't want to talk about it because I'm really upset about it. But because of that, I've definitely been pre-filming a lot of YouTube content. And I am doing an overnight 24-hour challenge soon. Um, I'm not going to say what it is or where, but needless to say, I am definitely going to be putting more effort into this channel. And I'm sorry if you guys feel like I've been distant. I've seen a few comments on this channel specifically in the past month and you guys feel like I'm not being open with you guys like I usually am and I just want to say those of you who understand and are giving me grace um thank you. All of my happiness like absolutely all of my happiness was put into this channel so my happiness was relying on numbers i have now found happiness in my real world more happiness than just work i guess you can say in the last two years i have found happiness in my like current reality not just online which is great but sometimes i forget then you guys feel disconnected from me guys i've been on the internet for going on 10 years now actually 11 years um i just am so glad to feel reconnected with you guys again i'm back on twitter i'm back to doing cameos and I'm checking DMs. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I actually am in the middle of preparing my next single release. I've been showing BTS, more specifically on my fanfics, which is like what I was doing with close friends, but it's now on fanfics. So if you guys want a sneak peek of the song, like the promos and behind the scenes and all that stuff, my fanfics is also linked down below. I love you guys. Mwah.